Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Virtual Skills and I am Latiful Bari with you. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Android operating system on VirtualBox. First of all, we need to download the Android ISO file. I mean the bootable file of Android operating system. Well, let's do it. Just open a browser and search for Android ISO. Just open the first URL here, android86x.org. Now click on any of these two links. I'm going with the first link. Here you can see the minimum system requirements to install Android OS in your computer or laptop. And from here you can find the Android version that you want to install. I want to install Android 9 version. As my system is 64 bits, so I will download this file. If you are using Windows 32 bits, then you should go with this file. Anyways, click to download it. You can see it's a big file, it's almost 1 GB. It will take some time. So I will stop my recording and will resume after finishing the download. Hey welcome back, our file is already downloaded. Now open your virtual box. If you haven't installed yet, you will find the download link in the video description below. Though it is very easy to install, I have also attached a video link on how to install virtual box on your Windows PC. You can also check it out. And also, I recommend you to watch the full video as I am going to show you some important settings that will help you to run your virtual Android device smoothly. Now click on new here. Here give a name to your new Android OS. And select the type Linux. And also select the version Linux 2.6. 64 bits as my operating system is 64 bits well why i am choosing linux type here because android os is based on linux as you can see here right now get back to your virtual box click next now choose your new system memory size i recommend you to keep it at least 2 gigabyte ram now click next here keep it default as create a virtual hard disk now. Click on create. Here also keep it as default virtual disk image VGI. In this space you should not select the fixed size as it will take permanent space from your hard disk. Rather select dynamically allocated. It means it will take temporary space from your hard disk when needed. Now click next. Here select the storage size of your new Android OS. I recommend you select at least 16GB. Now click on create. Well our virtual Android device is already created. Now we need to install our operating system. Before that I will show you some advanced settings for better functioning. Click on setting here. Now click on system and here processor. Now give it at least 2 CPU. Ok now click on display. Here change the graphics controller to VBOX SVGA and give the full limit to your video memory. It's really important. Now click on storage. Now we will install the Android OS. Here click on empty. Now click on disk icon on optical drive. Click on choose or create a virtual optical disk. Now click on add and choose the ISO file that you have downloaded earlier. Now click on choose. Now finally click on ok. Well we are done with the settings. Now click on start here.
Here it will take some time. Ok now click on advanced option. Use the down arrow key from your keyboard and press enter. Now select auto installation and press enter again. Here choose yes and press enter. Our new android os is installed successfully. Now select reboot and press enter. Now you need to go to your settings again. Click on storage and remove this iso file as it is already installed in your device. It's like removing your windows disk from your computer. Anyways, click on OK. Now start again. Now press enter to boot. You have nothing to do here. Please wait. It may take some time. Well, it's done. Now you need to set up your new Android device with some basic information. You also need to do that when you buy a brand new Android phone. Here select your preferable language. Click on start. Skip this step. We will do this later. Here you need to choose your time and date. If you are happy, then click on next. Well, I don't need these updates. If you want, you can keep it. Now click accept. Well, from here, you can set your e screen lock. You can also do it later. I am clicking not now. Now select your home app. You can select any of these two. I would love to go with the quick step. Always. Well, our setup is done. Now let me connect the Wi Fi. It's just like your phone. Just pull down from the top. And click on connect to open Wi Fi network here. It's really easy. And click on virtual Wi Fi. Well, it's connected. Here you can see you have the Google Play Store app. You just need to log in with your email account and then you will be able to install any app you want. Let's open a browser and check if our Wi Fi is working correctly. Accept and continue. Next. I will sign in later. Well you can see it's working perfectly. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and please subscribe my channel and stay tuned.